people say Christianity is made up, Christianity is a fairy tale. Yes, I'm well aware there's a lot of pagan mythology references in Christianity. However, I think Christianity is actually better than government law, law of nationality. First of all, Christian law is consistent. The laws don't really change, but it, when it comes to government, there's often a lot of arbitrary laws. For example, the COVID-19 lockdowns based on pseudoscience. For example, laws criminalizing jaywalking when there's no cars around. Meanwhile, when it comes to Christianity, lust sins like rape certainly do a lot of harm. Greed sins like the rich hoarding resources and wealth and screwing over the poor so that the poor starve to death is obviously doing harm. Christian laws are non-arbitrary. Government laws are not always non-arbitrary. Second of all, Christian law is consistent. The laws have stayed the same supposedly for over a thousand years. In Christianity, I can't say the same thing about government law that keeps changing. When it comes to government law, somebody could be a law-abiding citizen their whole life until the law changes and then suddenly they're a criminal. For example, when I was a teenager, trolling used to be something considered funny and part of nerd culture and about joking around. And now it's treated as though it's a criminal offence. For example, my grandma said the n-word used to mean black or dark. Now the meaning of the word seems to be something entirely negative and saying the n-word can result in hate speech ramifications. For example, I'm pretty sure the age of consent has changed at times. Somebody can go from being legal to pedophile just like that. But in Christianity, there's consistency when it comes to law. Third of all, we're all equal to Jesus. We're, we're all equal in Christ Jesus when it comes to Christianity. There isn't all this nonsense of apartheid or a race ruling over another race. But instead equality, and equality for women and men too. Fourth of all, Christianity is humane compared with government law. Government law around a lot of the world has the death penalty and really long prison sentences. Whereas according to Christianity, if somebody repents, then there needn't be the long prison sentences or the death penalty in the good faith that the person will sin no more. It's not about avoiding responsibility, it's about rehabilitation, because the emphasis is on sin no more. It takes responsibility and work to not be going around sinning. Fourth of all, in Christianity, we are all equal in Christ Jesus which spares us from the stupidity of having one race rule over another race, of having apartheid, of having Nazism and holocausts based on socially constructed race. And it means that poor people's lives are just as valuable as rich people's lives to Christians. Isn't that kind of nice? Fifth of all, isn't it lovely to be able to have a family and to, to, to get married, a family-friendly environment, a, a partner who loves you? There is love in Christianity, both family love and romantic love. And apparently the Christian Bible has wording against domestic violence towards wives and against abuse like physical abuse towards children isn't that kind of nice i think it is i think it's lovely to be able to have love i think trying to break the cycle of abuse is a virtue sixth of all christianity is by conversion which means by choice it's not forced 
people convert to Christianity and become Christians. Seventh of all, there's protections in the Christianity. For example, thou shall not kill hopefully protects Christians against bioweapons and vaccines and other bullshit. We, we've seen that governments don't exactly protect people against this sort of stuff. Eighth of all, there's free will in Christianity. Isn't it awfully nice to be able to think whatever you want to think and to have what imagine whatever in your internal world yes there is uh, some lust sins regarding thinking but the thought itself is not criminalized and in Christianity people actually have the free will to go against Christian law but isn't it kind of nice to choose to clear one's mind of violence and pornography and all this yucky stuff Christianity is about feeding the poor so that they don't have to steal out of hunger. Christianity is about equality. So trying to buy a wheelchair for somebody who cannot walk, if that's what's needed. In Christianity, pedestry is illegal, aka pedophilia. The protection of a child's innocence is not something that's frowned upon in Christianity. I think Christianity is pretty good.